Hello everyone. So I mentioned in a previous video that I was planning to maybe possibly plant my tomatoes out this week, but after looking at the weather, I decided that I'm going to hold off for a little bit for the weekend. It's now supposed to get below 50s for about three nights. So I thought it would be safer to plant them out on the weekend, but I couldn't resist. Don't judge me too hard on that. And I have already planted a few of the tomatoes here in my backyard. As you can see, there are seedlings hardening off everywhere, actually. And I planted some of my cherry tomatoes on those buckets in there. And just decided to take the risk. I have also to admit that hardening off is not my favorite part of gardening. Acclimating everything and taking them out and putting them back inside every day can get a little bit tiring. So I got, this week I was just like, you know, I have too many tomato seedlings. I'm gonna plant some out and if this doesn't work out, I will have some backups. I had separated this little cart here that I have to take to the plot with the varieties that I want to plant there. But they're gonna have to stay here just for one more weekend and then I'll finally take some time to plant them out. Some of my things I think are getting, these eggplants getting too big and getting yellow so I haven't fertilized enough my seedlings yet but I think that's finally time because they're not looking like they're doing really good. I started them with this starter mix from Gioni's that has some nutrients in it and I was supposed to carry them over for a little bit into a transplant time but I have been waiting a little too long to transplant them so I think it's time for me to add some diluted fertilizer to see if they would do better or just plant them out. I'm getting to a point that I just feel like planting everything out in the garden even though I know that I have to wait. And actually, Danny's birthday is on Tuesday, May 10th. Danny's my partner. And I have planted my tomato seedlings on March 14th, which is my birthday. So I thought it could be kind of fun to try to plant the tomatoes out on his birthday. So the tomatoes are kind of like connected to both of us. And it will be also easy to remember the days I put them out. So hopefully I'll get to plant them by then. And I'll have to bring them inside for the weekend because it's going to be windy and rainy. And it's going to get quite cold. 45, I think, a couple nights. So this weekend's very busy. It's Mother's Day and also celebrating Danny's birthday. So I think I just have to bring everything in, leave them inside the house for a couple of days, hopefully they'll do okay. Take them out Monday before I go to work and try to plant them on Tuesday. But they actually freed up some time to, for me to do something that I really needed to do. I wanted to start my squash, melon, cucumbers and all of that. And I have already this afternoon sold all of my squashes. I didn't get a chance to film a video, but here they are and i am gonna go ahead and show you just the varieties of course they are in the grill list but just so as a refresher i can show you guys here real quick so i did this dark star zucchini this one danny picked up when we went to visit the hudson valley seed company store in upstate new york and also this lemon squash this one there i think is going to be very interesting it's a custard squash excited to see how it tastes then this one that I got in Hawaii, this is a long squash from Whole Farms. There's a few other things from Grow 7 Seeds. 8.98 squash, I'm planting this instead of the Honey Nut squash this year. This center cut squash is kind of like a trombocino kind, so those long Italian heirlooms. See, never grown them, but I also heard many good things, especially that they are very disease resistant. So I hope that this is true for this variety as well. And this tetra squash that I talked about a lot on my Let's Talk Seeds video, I think. So this tetra squash is very exciting because you can eat them in all stages of growth. It's a delicate type, but you can also pick it immature and eat as a zucchini, a summer squash situation. So I'm excited to see how that goes. I planted them all earlier in here. And now I am going to do my cucumbers. I'm doing the, I'm planting this Japan cucumber, it's a Japanese cucumber time type. I got this in Hawaii too when I went there to visit, so I'm excited about this one. Silver Slicer cucumber from Hudson Valley Seed. It was my favorite cucumber last year. Great flavor, was not bitter, really enjoyed it. And I actually decided to get this variety too. It's a later addition to the grill list. It's an Armenian cucumber, but this is the 
it has it's not the white type it's the one with the nice stripe this is technically a melon but it is a cucumber so i'm sewing this today as well i got this jonies i can't remember if i put down the gorillas or not or if i got it after i made that video but this is a supremo f1 hybrid it's supposed to be a specialty cucumber so i'm giving a try to this one too this year and i got this for free at the baker creek <laughs> order that i placed so planting a couple plants just to see. So those are all the cucumbers that I'm planting this year. I also wanna do this Kajari melon again. I tried to plant last year, it didn't work out. I think I overcrowded everything in the plot. It was just, it, this one just never took off. So I'm gonna give it another try this year because it's just so pretty. We have this miniature watermelon called Kahu watermelon. Danny really wants to do watermelon. So I'm gonna start this, but we hopefully can find space to put it in the garden. And this, we're gonna do some corn because we're gonna give another try to a Three Sisters Garden. So this is a multi Morado corn, supposed to be a little bit more acclimated to the cooler weather from the north. And also, both Danny and I have been to Peru and they have a drink there called Chicha Morada that they make with this black corn and it's delicious. So this is supposed to be the same corn that you make that drink from. So let's see, I'm excited about this, starting some here, but I'm also going to direct so a few in the plot too. So for these seeds here, this soil, I did not pre-moisten the soil. It is recommended that you do that. I didn't because usually I just use a lot of work. But for me, what I do, I just take the paper straight from the back, put it into the container, and then I put water in the bottom. You can see there's water in there. And I let the moisture can kind of get absorbed that way. And after I put the seeds, I'll give another watering on the top. I just press the soil a bit because I know that once you just put in, it tends to get too light and when you put the water, it, will, it won't settle really well. But it's all right. Those are all big seeds. I don't think it's going to be a problem. That's the same thing I did with this earlier and they all look pretty wet and looking good right now. Barely any water in the bottom. Let's see if we could from there, absorb most of it. So it's been working for me. So I'm going to start by adding the labels I'm so ready for this weather to get a little bit warmer uh, it, today felt pretty good it was really nice earlier it did get a bit colder now it's a little it's cooling down again now but can't wait for warmer days and nights hopefully there will be here in a couple weeks so I'm just gonna put two seeds per container just in case one of them don't sprout last year I had a big problem with powdery mildew both in the cucumbers and on the squash so silver slicer is resistant to it which is a good thing I don't really know what I can do to prevent powdery mildew other than giving them some space and having some breathing room and cutting the leaves as soon as I see the little white dots on it. It's hard to film videos here in the afternoon. There's a lot of noise in the street. It's funny that if you've been watching for a while, when I filmed the garden tours in the front yard last year, I thought it was so noisy. I kept complaining, I apologize on the garden tours about the noise. And I thought that when I moved into the backyard, that it would be much better, but there's cars passing by all the time helicopters, neighbors, and always going to be noisy in New York City no matter what. It's part of living life in the city, I guess. I'm just going to give a little watering now. Actually, let me tell you a secret. One of the reasons why I actually don't like to pre-moisten the soil before I plant my seeds too is that my hands get so dirty every time I touch the soil. So it gets into my hands and I go to open the seed packs and I get all the seed packs dirty. <laughs> So I feel that when I plant like this, with the dry soil, just putting the seeds, clean hands at the end, the seed packs don't look all brown, they still look nice. I know, it's just my own preference. I know many people would say, oh my gosh, how can you do that? You have to pre moisten the soil, otherwise it's not gonna work. Well, all the seeds that I have planted so far, I use this method and so far so good. These guys here are all doing well. Can you believe how much everything has grown already? So cool. Since it's going to be a little cooler this weekend, I'm going once this soil absorbs all of, all of this water a little later today, I'm gonna go ahead and put them all inside with the grow lights too. So I don't have to be doing the back and forth and then I'll just acclimate them after. 
but by then I hope that I can plant some of these tomatoes and some of these other things so I can have some more space this greenhouse right now is empty everybody's been hardening off but I'm gonna go ahead and put everybody back inside here by tomorrow once the temperatures drop and they're gonna be nice and cozy for the whole weekend I am actually debating if I should harvest some of these lettuce for dinner they just look so pretty on the planter I've been kind of resisting <laughs> trying to harvest them just because I love looking at them here this that soy is getting so big now I love that soy this one I probably will harvest very soon because I can't wait to eat it oh look who came here to say hi <laughs> this is Gypsy She's not outside cat, she's indoors, but she's allowed to come here on the porch when we are out and she's very well behaved, so she stays here with us. Right? <laughs> she loves sweet pepper plants. Peppers and basil. That's always the what she goes and tries to eat. Nope. No, you can do that. Go back in. Good job. She's like a dog. <laughs> Jenny has trained her really well. Alright, and that will be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.